हेलो वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय सेल्फ हर्षिका होप एवरीवन इज डूइंग फाइन सो माय टुडे वीडियो इट्स अबाउट द अनबॉर्न स्पिरिट चाइल्ड सो दिस वीडियो अबाउट द स्पिरिट चाइल्ड मींस द सोल ऑफ द चाइल्ड द सोल ऑफ द चाइल्ड हु इज नॉट इनकारनेटेड इन अ फिजिकल बॉडी एंड नॉट प्रेजेंट इन अ एस्ट्रल डायमेंशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन सम वन इज डाई दे सोल इमिजिएटली गोज इन अ एस्ट्रल प्लेन or maybe they are roaming in the earth surface to become a discarnated soul soul because they have some reason of attachment or codependency but in the in this type of soul they they are they are coming in a special category because these spirit child are not born means they are not present in a astral dimensions they and not present in a physical dimension they are not born means they they having they just hanging in the middle of the phase so their soul is in just like in a waiting phase is in a phase of inertia the long and long waiting to incarnate it in a physical body or going back to their astral planes but these souls are just hand so in this video we we just discuss about the deep level the deep level of the spiritual pregnancy because the unborn spirit child are coming are coming from a spiritual pregnancies so this is the topic of a spiritual pregnancy section b unborn spirit child so i already makes lots of video i personally distribute just uh, distribute into section a and into section b so the unborn spirit child is coming from a section b the child who is actually not present in a astral dimension and not incarnated in a in a physical body they are the human child souls and these are the soul coming in a section b in a section a type of spiritual pregnancies are the first type is a astral pregnancies uh, you are just astrally uh, meeting someone meeting someone and receiving a pregnancy the second is a incoming soul means the soul who are incarnated in a physical body are coming 5 to 6 year before they are their soul is entering in a mother womb before 5 to 6 year coming in a physical plane third type is a star child pregnancy means uh, the all section a is a rainbow indigo a uh, crystal and diamond uh, star child and the b is an nephilim hy hybrids rh negative so the nephilim hybrid can be anunnaki and human hybrid orpheums and reptilian hybrids or reptilians and human hybrid so these are the hybrid type of pregnancies so these pregnancies are the section a and the section b type of pregnancies are the unborn spirit child so this video it's all about the section b because i already make many video on a section a type of pregnancy if you are not watch you can go and watch it so in a in a section b these souls having a traumatic memories they the unborn spirit child are not the child who actually with a joy with the energy of joy happiness these are the child soul are created because of the miscarriages because of the abortion or death at a newborn stage so these are not the happy soul these are the child soul who are just full with anger hate resentment because they having a no future no development they are just stuck in in a one stages their waiting phase can be a years long can be a decades long so in a section b as i told the section b type of soul have always having a painful history they having a no future no no development so these are the soul they uh, they are these are the soul these uh, these trauma are created they are not just in their divine plan in their soul plan these are the soul are just dead by the abortion or dead by the miscarriages or uh, they they can be dead at at a newborn stage by your karma by their parents karma or by their parents mistake or some other type of sources or they intentionally uh, just kill the baby because the child is unwanted child or the female child or the mother is single mother so at 
when when they are in in your physical body you the mother is doing the abortion or having a miscarriage so when a female a goes through going through abortion or a miscarriage there is a 80 to 50 percent sorry the 50 to 80 percent chances when the child physical body is destroyed the soul of the child are just immediately entering in a etheric worm or in a astral stomach because we have a multi-dimensional soul anatomy most of the humans are not connected with their multi-dimensional uh, multi-dimensional soul anatomy they just only focusing in a physical body they think when when abortion or the miscarriages happen just uh, the baby is no longer here but the truth of this mis miscarriages or the abortion the most of the time your child soul is entering in your warm chakra entering in your astral stomach and you are no longer connected with your astral body so you just don't know what happened because why these child soul are not going in a astral plane why they are not going in a next incarnation the reason of this soul they are just so attached with their mother you know the when first time they are incarnated in a physical body they having the happiness they having the excitement they having the joy, joy but they are died by a brutal mother because for a child this is a brutal mother uh, for a mother you are just having a abortion you just immediately this is just a one or two hour surgical procedure and after you are you become a free but for the child the child is actually die with the painful circumstances means in an abortion you are just destroying their physical body they you are just and in the uh, abortion is one of the most brutal murder for me it was one of the most brutal mother what i can see because in a abortion the doctor or the surgeon is just cutting the alive child at that time the child is alive and you are just cutting the pieces you know you are alive and when someone for example see yourself if you are alive and someone killing you with the, with a cutting they someone is trying to cut you in, into a pieces the same thing happen in a child when the child is alive in a in a mother womb they have they just in a development phase suddenly you are doing abortion and the child had the child experienced the painful death you know their body is cutting into a pieces and they are die with the with a extreme screaming paining crying so at that moment the ch the soul of the child is extremely angry and they are refusing to leave their mother body and immediately enter in a etheric womb or uh, and this is also the same situation when someone having a miscarriage but this is not the intentional same way there is a reasons of miscarriage but both type of death you know the death by abortion or death by miscarriage are creating the painful trauma in a child soul and no one is talk about uh, about this no one actually knows about this it's a painful trauma for a child soul same way when a child is just died by at a newborn stage many people are doing this they are just throwing the child if they are a female or if this is the unwanted child and when you are throwing the child if the child is is a die means some stray animal eat eat uh, eat the child or the child is die by the hunger or by the starving so this is one of the most painful death and the baby soul has has a no karma why why he is uh, why he or she suffer these type of painful death so these uh, these deaths creating the curse curse on both parents not just a mother these are creating the heavy curse for for their mother and also their father but the child soul it's 80 percent chance the child soul is entering your etheric womb so what happened when these child soul entering in a etheric womb first thing these this child soul has a no future and they in a they also having a no development but when they are entering in an etheric womb, they are just feeling suck and suck and suffocated. They are not happy in that etheric womb. This child soul is also 
always having a negative emotions with a heavy negative emotion just like a emotion of anger pain resentment they are not happy with their parents you know they are always just sending the negative curses or the negative energy you know the verbal curses or the emotional type of curses to their uh, to their parents you know in a both both biological father and both biological mother they are just just sending the curses you are the unworthy parents you are the unworthy mother i hate you because of you i am die and you deserve the same death means when they are entering in in the etheric form they the child is start eating the soul of the child is start eating your etheric cell inside eating your astral body just the same you are making them die the same thing child is doing to their parents when they entering in the etheric form they the, they start eating the etheric cell or when the etheric body are start destroying the physical diseases are automatically manifested just like a cancer uti or the severe damages in in a liver spleen kidney and the stomach disease pcos and this is also creating a painful death means you are dying in a ventilator it means uh, means someone who is doing this type of uh, negative karma abortion so these people are dying in a ventilator and their pain is extremely so extremely painful you know their death is extremely painful so these type of curses if you have this type of sin especially the child sin or the daughter sin so these sin are not just coming by your karma maybe in this lifetime you are not doing any type of this karma but this sin is also coming from your family tree for example if a child is is die or murder murdered by your ancestor you know uh by they they just throwing the child they are not taking the responsibility of child and the child is just die by the brutal circumstances so the child soul is can be enter in a same family tree means for example they can enter in the next generation means enter in your daughter womb enter in your cousin womb because they can always moving in a same family tree for example your cousin doing this type of sin so there might be a chances the spirit child entering in your womb or entering in the other other female because they are moving in a same family tree they have a biological connection with with you biological dna but if you have or anyone having a this child sin of coming from this lifetime or in your past lifetime or coming coming from your family tree so this can create a heaviest karmic baggage and you will experience a, a sudden and unexpected death in your life you will experience the disease you know there is without any reason you will ex you have a cancer means without you are not doing any type of not taking any type of drugs and alcohol but you have a disease you are dying in in a ventilator so these are because of this karma you know because of this unborn child spirit you have a, a monetary loss because this karma is just extremely heavy heavy and they are coming from many lifetimes from many years from many decades but no one is know about this and no one is talk about this you are just uh, you are just throwing or killing a child just like uh, your rotten teeth but the truth is this karma is extremely heavy and uh, you have to just resolve this karma if you have this because as i told the spirit child is not just sitting quietly they are start damaging astral body they are start eaten your destiny so and also this ancestor karma for example your mother can do this type of abortion or your great grandmother are doing this type of abortion and when they die so the so the spirit child are just jumping into a daughter or jumping into a grand daughter and living inside your etheric womb 
but you are not aware about this as i told most of the female are just not aware they are not connected with their multi-dimensional soul anatomy the humans are only focusing in a physical things in a physical body in a physical organs but not focusing in a astral bodies we have a 12 type of bodies we have a uh, just like etheric body emotional body mental body astral body um, casual body etheric template celestial body and also the 9d uh, so also the 8d 9d and 10d like the monad self are also exist inside us but we are not connected so we don't know about this this type of scenes we don't know about that type of karma so i get this information by my personal study i actually study my many clients for example i recently study a star woman uh, and i am making the reading of the light body so i will know she has a this type of attachment she actually holding the unborn spirit child so when we are going through awakening or the chakras awakening spiritual awakening kundalini awakening or the chakras awakening when 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 our when our chakras are activated means we are reconnected with our multi-dimensional soul or not we just create re reconnect with the astral body so many of my clients who are experience experiencing the symptoms of spiritual pregnancy means when they are doing a meditation or completely awaken their chakra system they experience the synchronicity especially the baby synchronicity and they are virgins they are not meeting their twin flames in this lifetime they are not involving any type of astral sex not involving in a physical a physical sex but they are experiencing the baby synchronicity you know in a deep level when they sit in a meditation they can experience something inside their etheric warm and in a universe they are just repeatedly seeing the baby synchronicities in in our dreams in real life they can experience the dist distended abdomen in their astral body feeling the cramp or the fetal movement so these experience and then they just don't know how these uh, these experience are come come out because they are physically or the astrally completely virgin even don't even meet any partner right now so why these why they are experience this spiritual pregnancies so the, uh, this is also the reason of the spiritual pregnancy is an unborn spirit child coming from your karma this lifetime or also coming from your past lifetime karma and also ca coming from by your family karma because when you are incarnated in a physical body you holding your family karma means now your responsibility to change it so if you are experienced these type of pregnancies or anyone who is experienced this unborn spirit child so there is only two ways the first way is a giving a birth to this child means accepting the child accept accepting this child as your own child and giving the birth so this is the first way or the second way you can ask for the forgiveness you can pray for this child soul and ask for the forgiveness this is the only two way you can just sort this karma because this karma is very heavy it's a child sin or the daughter sin and it's it's not cleansing they are just coming in in many lifetimes if you are not resolve it so this is my video on an unborn spirit child hope you like it if you like please do like subscribe and share my channel if you're interested in a reading just like a light body reading or any type of personal reading you want to know about yourself your chakra system you can contact me i am also teaching the i am also teaching the kundalini awakening and a chakras awakening and the various type of healings method and if you're interested in a more deep video i already make a deep videos and these video are very confidential so you can be the member of my channel and watch this videos i can make the detailed video of all type of pregnancy if you if you want a deep information uh, you can join you can be the member of my channel you can do a join button and thank you so much for my uh, for your watching for your time and my book is always available in Amazon, 
Kindle, you can go and read. Thank you so much.